What's up guys, this is Mr. Erdogan. You're watching Music with Mr. Erdogan. Today we're gonna to be learning the important technique of tonguing our notes while playing the recorder. Okay, by now we've learned a few different songs. We've learned how to play Hot Cross Buns, we've learned how to play Mary Had a Little Lamb, we've done a few different things on the recorder, and it's important to start learning how to play the recorder properly, and important to learn how to play those notes properly while we're playing them. So the way we play those notes is called tonguing. So tongue is a really important thing that we need to do while playing our notes to make our notes sound more crisp, more clear, and it sounds better just overall. If you're not tonguing, it's kind of going to sound really, really rough while you're playing it. And it's not going to sound like you have practiced a lot or played a lot or had a lot of experience while playing the recorder. So the sooner you start tonguing, the better it is later on down the road. It'll improve your playing, it'll improve how you sound, and it'll improve everything. So I'm going to give you guys a couple examples of how we play our songs that we've already learned, Mary Had a Little Lamb and Hot Cross Buns, if we're not tonguing at all. So you may sound similar to that. All I'm doing is just blowing. I'm just going So tonguey makes it actually easier for us to manage our breath and makes it easier for us to not run out of breath as we're playing. Now let's hear how they sound with tonguey. Now it's easy to hear the difference. The version with tonguing sounds crisp, sounds clean, sounds like you know what you're doing, and the version without tonguing sounds like you're not really quite good at playing the recorder yet, and it sounds like you still need more practice. So tongue is a really important skill to practice to be able to sound good while you're playing the recorder. Also, another reason why tonguing is so important is that when we're starting to play faster music and more complex music, we don't want to actually be able to play that piece of music without tonguing. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So I'll play hot cross buns pretty quickly and you'll see what it sounds like with all the different eighth notes played really fast. Here's Mary Had a Little Lamb. So when we start to learn more complicated pieces of music and we're not tonguing, it'll sound really, really bad. Here's an example of me trying to play those songs really fast without tonguing. Now let's think about what tonguing is. Tonguing is you just taking your tongue and touching it to the top of your mouth to break up that long stream of air. So instead of just you have a long stream of air and that long stream of air is broken up with the tonguing. So each chunk of air is a single note. So how do we learn how to do that? What's the easiest way to start tonguing when we don't know how? There's a word we can say to be able to practice the technique of tonguing. So we can start saying the word two, 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 That T sound at the beginning of the word two is the same thing that you're doing while tonguing. So let's try an exercise. Let's not play. We're just going to pretend to air recorder. So try to exhale a single breath and tongue to break up that breath. So you can start to see how you can play different note lengths depending on how fast or how slow you're tonguing. And I'll show you what I mean with the recorder this time. So instead of having individual small, small breaths of air for each note, you're going to have a longer stream of air that can be used for multiple notes. Anyways guys, that's it for tonguing for now. I hope this will help you guys learn how to tongue and help you guys improve the way you sound while you're playing. So if you need practice tonguing, go ahead and rewind this video as many times as you need to be able to think about how you can start tonguing while you're playing. 
As always, guys, if you like this video, please hit that like button below. And if you want to subscribe for future updates as to when I'm uploading videos for you guys to help you guys learn how to play the recorder, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Anyways, guys, that's it for tonguing. I hope this has been a very helpful video for you. So it's easy to hear the difference. The version with tonguing sounds crisp. Anyways, guys, that's it for tonguing. I hope this has been a very helpful video for you. I hope this helps you improve the way you sound and when... Tonguing makes you sound like you know what you're doing. Not tonguing makes you sound like you're not so experienced or not so new or... Anyways, guys, that's it for tonguing for now. I hope this helps you guys improve the way you sound while you're playing. And I hope you guys start to...